What's up, Brilliant Coders? It's your girl, Jillian. Welcome back to video two of our mini-series of coding animated art. In our last video, we created artwork centered around our identity and loving all of who we are, including our natural hair. I wanted to take that a step further and include all types of people and their wonderful hair textures. Hair can be an expression of our personal style and even our religious and cultural identities, which is why I made this art that changes from an afro to a hijab to straight hair. And I'm gonna show you how to do it yourself. So, are you ready? Awesome, let's get into it. First, let's start by adding an animation that includes afros of different sizes. We are going to open up our previous piece of art and comment out our curls for now, just so that we have the round afro. When we comment out a section of code, we make our code invisible and it can't be used or seen by our functions. That means we'll no longer see the curls for now. Select the code you want to make invisible and then press command backslash if you are a Mac user or control backslash if you have PC. Now that the curls are commented out or temporarily hidden, we have to think what we need to change in the code to make the afro go from large to small. We need to adjust the width and height of the circle. In our previous video, we learned how stored values and variables can be used in different parts of our functions. Below curls, let's create a variable called afro size that stores our current afro size of 380. Next, Replace the value 380 in the afro circle function with afro size. If nothing changes, then you have completed the step correctly. Now we want the afro size of the afro to shrink at a constant rate. We can reuse our total sum operation to achieve this goal. Below afro, type afro size equals afro size minus one. Remember, we are subtracting from the total size instead of adding to it like we did when we grew the curls of the afro because we want to make it smaller. This way, we'll see the afro shrink into infinity and then grow into infinity. So let's reset the afro size once we get to a certain size, just like we did when the afro was growing to infinity in our previous video. Below the afro size operation, write the following. If the afro size is less than 210, then I want to reset the afro size to 400. Now we have an afro that shrinks to show all the different sizes it can be, then resets itself to a size slightly larger than the original starting point. Even though I love afros in all of their glory, not everyone's hair grows that way or is worn that way. So it's important for us to be able to have our art reflect a variety of hair types and hairstyles. Next, in this piece, we will show a woman with straighter hair and also a woman with a hijab, which is a head covering worn by some Muslim women. The way that I can do this is to comment out our afro section for now. Above it, I will label straight hair slash hijab. I want to draw a black rectangle that will span slightly larger than the width of the face. We also have to adjust the hairline to span the width of the hair. Now let's shrink the afro while transitioning it to the hijab and eventually the straight hair. I want to use the same logic we applied to shrink the afro to grow the straight hair. This time, we are changing the height of the rectangle to increase every time the draw function runs. So below the afro size variable, I'm going to make a hair height variable and set its initial value to that of our rectangle height of 160. Then replace 160 with hair height in the rectangle. Now I want the hair height to increase by half speed, but you can change it to any speed you want. I want the hair height to reset to 160 after it reaches a length of 300. Now you see the hair height of the straight or hijab covered hair grow and grow until it reaches a length of 300, then it resets. The next step is to uncomment the afro section and watch both animations at work. Hey, that looks so dope. Well, that's all the coding for today. Make sure you save your work. 
Now, real talk, major props to you for all of your hard work. Make sure to come back next week to learn how to take your animated art to the next level by adding moving animations to the background. But in the meantime, and in between time, stay cute and stay coding.